The new Maxwell for SketchUp plugin will allow you to render photorealistic images from within Google SketchUp. Now this is a very powerful plugin and it has a lot of features to it, but the core of the plugin itself is the render engine. So I'm gonna come over here to the Maxwell toolbar and I'm gonna click the first button, which is gonna launch the Fire Render Engine. Now the way that the Fire Render Engine works is that it will automatically update as we're working. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable the Fire Engine by clicking this button here. And what will happen is whatever we currently have with the model will be automatically exported out and then it will begin to render as soon as that whole exporting process is done. Now the beautiful thing about the way that this render engine works is that whenever we make a change, it will automatically update within Fire as long as we have this active. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to tab through some of these different scenes so you can see how quickly that updates. So basically as soon as SketchUp is done moving, that Fire engine is updating. Now we have the ability of modeling and texturing just like we always would within SketchUp and you don't need to do anything more than that if you don't want to. However, if you want to take full advantage of Maxwell, we have the ability of coming in here and working with Maxwell specific properties by working with the Maxwell Scene Manager. The Maxwell Scene Manager will allow us to work with the material properties, the camera properties, the environment properties, as well as the output properties. So I'm gonna come over here to materials and I'm gonna change the paint color of my car. So I'm just gonna come down and look at the materials list and choose the body color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick something like say a red color. And you can see immediately that gets updated both in SketchUp and within Fire. Now the idea of how Fire renders is that it will progressively get better and better in quality and it will render at whatever quality level you desire. However, once you're done rendering, you have the ability of saving out these images. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let it render to sample level 10, which is the current sample level that we're looking for. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So it's almost done, there it goes. And we're just gonna go ahead and click this icon. It looks like a CD for save image. And we're just gonna save this into a folder on my computer. And it's just that simple.